at this point, there are probably a dozen of AI tools that can help you code and build apps. But today, I want to introduce to you something different, an agentic platform that takes AI generated code to the next level in both quality and efficiency. This is where I would like to showcase Emergent, the world's first agentic vibe coding platform that lets anyone build, test, launch, and scale apps without writing complex code. Emergent is an AI-powered development platform and an agentic coder that transforms your ideas into fully functional applications. All you have to do is describe what you want in natural language, and Emergent handles everything from coding to designing to deployment, so you don't need to worry about programming or writing any sort of code. Emergent takes AI coding to the next level by turning ideas into production-ready apps instantly. It's a multi-agent system that handles everything from the backend as well as integrations to mobile deployment. So you can focus on building, not debugging. And it also has real-time iteration with collaboration tools and full data ownership. So your app is live, scalable, and truly yours from the day one. With Emergent, you can build anything from websites to mobile apps. You can even build custom agents where you can design and deploy intelligent domain-specific AI agents tailored to your workflow. You can also work with various sorts of integrations and collaborate with others. So if you're looking to get started, it's super simple. Use the link in the description below and you're going to be then sent over to this page for Emergent where you're going to be prompted to either sign up or log in with an account. So simply go ahead and do that. It's something that you can do completely for free. After signing up or logging in, you'll be then sent over to the main dashboard of Emergent, where you can simply describe anything in plain natural language and Emergent will code it out for you. This agentic coder is insanely smart and you can instantly clone anything or build something like cloning Netflix. If I am to send in this prompt, and in this case, I can choose any model. I can choose Sonnet 4.5, which is the new latest Anthropic model. And I can simply go ahead and configure certain controls where I can have it select different MCPs. I can use different integrations. And afterwards, I can even integrate other files as well. But now let's actually go ahead and have it generate this Netflix clone. You can see how fast it is. It can rapidly take my natural language prompt and it can work on creating a Netflix clone instantly. And you can see right now that it is asking a couple of questions that it will need before it continues forward, like asking about what features it should include, the data sources, if it should use the TMDB API for real movie data. There's also user features that you can add, like a user authentication and a specific design style if you're looking for a dark theme or with red accents. But say if you want to just give it an auto answer, you can simply do that as well where the agent will basically answer all of these different questions for you. But the beauty of Emergent is its multi-agent execution. This is where it can deploy multiple agents to execute your task. Right now we have an image agent that is working with this request where it needs high quality movie poster images for the Netflix clone. So this is where it is creating a couple of banners and it will be able to then display it within our app. And I kid you not, in less than a minute, it was able to build out this Netflix clone. And you can see how impressive it is, guys. The quality of output with Emergent is truly impressive, which is why I really like it and I really wanted to showcase it on this channel. You can also see all the different code edits it has made. You can see the banner, the nav bar, and the mock data that it was able to code out instantly all on its own. All the changes are listed over here. Right now, it's still processing on the next few steps where it is running a debugging agent to see if everything is functional. So you don't even need to worry about catching any bugs or any fixes that need to be made. So we have the front end ready and it has been debugged. But now, say if we want to add a back end, you can actually do that as well with Emergent, which is something that we'll showcase with a real example that we're going to be working with. But heading back over to the main dashboard, this is where we had mentioned that you can work with Emergent to work on tackling any task and using the Agentic Coder to do almost anything. You're going to be able to also see all your recent tasks as well as the deployed apps that you can easily publish to the public. And to do that, for example, with our Netflix app, what you can do is you can either share this around so that others can access it through this link 
or you can even deploy it directly from Emergent. This is where you can either deploy it with your own domain or you can deploy it directly with Emergent. And you can simply just click on Start uh, Deployment and then you can have it deployed with a single click. You also have a couple of different templates that you can work with rather than starting from scratch. But now we're going to get started and showcase the real example of what we're going to be doing with Emergent, which is to build a stock trading platform. This is where I'm going to be showcasing how you can do practically anything as long as you're being descriptive. This is where you can tell the multi agents that you want to have a user authentication. You want to have integrations like Stripe as your payment gateway and then a real time trading dashboard so that it can incorporate different sorts of live APIs. So this is where I'm going to be as descriptive as possible. And something I forgot to mention is that you also have the ability to incorporate private repositories, also public. Now, one thing you can also do now is if you click on advanced controls, you can select your own MCP tool. You can add your own MCP like we had showcased before, but you can enable memory MCP, which is something that I recommend if you have these other plans, because with that, you're going to be able to have it so that either your AI agent can retain memory with future generations. So now we can go ahead and send in this prompt and have Emergent tackle this task where it's going to deploy multiple agents to work on carrying out this task. And guys, something I noticed is that if you are to actually close the preview and if you are to click on code, you can head over to this link and then you can copy the password and you can actually visualize a live preview of the code being generated with this online hosted IDE that showcases all the different files a part of your project. So if you want to make changes directly, configure APIs, you can do that directly from this. And there we go. It looks like we have finished creating our stock app. And this is where we are greeted with our authentication system, which it was able to fully develop and configure all on its own. This is where I can open it up in a new tab and log in with an account. I'm going to log in with the Google account. And after logging in, you're going to be then greeted with the Stockflow app, which looks absolutely amazing. There's a lot of features and these are live linked APIs for the stock. So I can actually set a reminder as to when I should buy it, alert it if it's below a certain price or above a certain price, and then you can create that alert. You can directly buy it from here. Like if you want to buy one stock, you can do so. And it actually implements a change to your overall portfolio, which is awesome. There's a watch list. You have alerts where you can set, like we had showcase, all the different orders that you had accumulated, analytics on what is happening with your portfolio. There's a wallet, which is actually linked to the Stripe payment gateway. And you can see that it is something that works and has been fully integrated with our app, which is absolutely amazing. Now, if we go back, we can take a look at the other features. You also have an admin panel, which showcases the different users a part of this application. All of this was fully handled with multi-agents. It tested everything to make sure it was fully configured and working. And now I can simply go ahead and deploy this with a single click. This is the capability of Emergent. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on Emergent. This is something that's going to redefine how apps are actually built and how you code as you can turn ideas into production-ready software through a simple conversation. And with its agentic vibe coding tool, it is something that can help you easily and seamlessly build backends and full-stack apps quite easily with different integrations. It empowers anyone to build, test, and deploy full-stack and mobile applications quite effortlessly. So if you're interested, I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can easily get started. But make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Drop positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.